Day one, the Altona Stone Circle. The next morning, the friends woke up inside a large stone circle with sheep everywhere. No way, whispered Robert. This must be a dream, said James. Well, we should pinch each other, said Jane. I don't want to be pinched, replied Ruth Susan, frowning. Yes, if it's a dream, it won't hurt, Robert pinched James. Ouch! James pinched Robert back. Ouch! Susan and Jane looked at each other. After pinching each other lightly, all agreed it must be real. But how? Madan Lani! The children heard in a man's voice. They looked around where the sound was coming from. An old grey-haired man, dressed in robes, was roasting a salmon over a fire in the middle of the stone circle. Tatu and Shelda Driat, he continued. Tar Agus E. Enig Shane Smoke Heel. All four kids shook their heads. They could not understand anything he was saying. The man smiled and motioned them over for breakfast. They each had some salmon while a wolfhound watched from nearby. Once they had eaten, they looked around them wondering where they were. We will help you get home, said the wolfhound, startling the kids and making their eyes wide. You are in Ireland by magic, and with magic we will help you to return. Somehow the children could now understand not only the wolfhound, but also the man. The druid, for that is what he was, gave them each a pack of supplies, a sleeping bag, travel clothes. He explained that magic was needed to bring them home. They must go on a quest to find specific items the magic required to work. The druid pulled out a scrap of old paper and began to read. The location of hexagonal basalt rock where giants once roamed. Three ragged robins. Wood for a blackthorn shalala. An acorn from an oak Three in each province, the friendship of a red deer. The children had no idea where to start, or even what the list meant. The wolfhound said he would help them along their quest. He told them they were in Belton a stone circle in the province of Ulster. With that, he trotted off. You had better follow him, said the druid kindly. He will guide you, guard you, and be your friend. He will help you on your journey and bring you back where, when you are ready. After a quick discussion among themselves, the kids ran after the dog. They wondered how they would know what they were looking for. Start doing something, the wolfhound told them. Movement creates action. Action creates direction. As they traveled throughout the day, they collected leaves of different trees. Most of the trees were so big, they had to get on each other's shoulders to reach the leaves. James rummaged through his pack and found what looked to be an old journal. In the very center was an outline of Ireland. As they traveled, the wolfhound helped him fill in the details. They climbed up a mountain looking for hexagon basalt rocks. You will not find them here, said the wolfhound. This is Mount Errigal the most ancient of the rocks on the island. It was formed millions of years ago from sandstone and igneous rock merged. It's called metamorphic. This rock is ancient. That night they camped under the stars and showed the wolfhound what they found. Are any of these leaves from the oak? asked James. The wolfhound sniffed each leaf they had collected. James was ready with his journal. Not this one, replied the wolfhound. It is a hazel tree. The hazel is the tree of knowledge and wisdom. It's good to sit under the hazel to think. That leaf is from the ash tree. It is a sacred tree and prized for its strength and healing. Sit under the ash and take it in if you feel weak or sick. Ah, the alder. It shows the balance between the male and the female aspects of life. It is also a favorite of fairies. Ooh, the wolfhound paused. Is this one from the oak tree? asked Susan in the silence. No, responded the wolfhound. He grew very still and quiet. We passed through a sacred grove. This leaf is from the yew tree, the most ancient of trees. They seem to live forever, a 
at least to us mortals. Youths are constantly renewing themselves, something humans could learn, the Wolfhound added. Well, there's only one left, sighed Jane. Ah, yes, this one is from the oak tree, exclaimed the Wolfhound. See how the leaves go in and out. Now you know what you were looking for. Acorns are the seeds of the mighty sessile oak tree. Why does the druid want these acorns anyway? asked James. The children waited for a response. Finally, the wolfhound cocked his head and shook it until his ears flopped. The oak tree, the wolfhound said at last, is a symbol of strength, honor, endurance, and liberty. You will need these traits in the days ahead.